hey guys my name is femi or jeremy and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to fix the battery problem on hacking touch systems whether the battery icon is not there or the battery icon is there but it's not reading the battery correctly in this video i'm going to be showing you how to solve that so stay tuned this tutorial might not work for everyone and if you don't know what you're doing and the things that i'm going to be doing in this video please do not try it at all because you could run into a lot of problems and end up losing your entire mac os but if you should properly follow this tutorial i'm sure it will work for a lot of you especially those of you that are using catalina because that's what i tested it on i'm making this video because of those of you that asked me in the comments that you had battery issues after installing catalina i myself didn't have this problem after installing it but i found a video on youtube showing how to fix this problem and i followed it and it works for me just a quick reminder if you're new here and you want to see more of my videos make sure you hit the subscribe button and you hit the bell button beside it to get notified on when i post new videos without wasting any more of your time let's get into the video Okay, the first and the most important step you need to boot into your clover bootloader make sure that the indicator is on the drive that you installed mac os then to extract the dsdt file hit f4 on your keyboard or on some keyboards you hold shift and press f4 or you press function then f4 i recommend you try all of this because i'm not sure what will work for you on your computer it depends on the type of the computer but f4 is the button to extract your dsdt files so after you've done that hit enter on your keyboard and boot into your os so over at my computer now you can notice at the top right corner that my battery icon is missing but for some of you the battery icon might be there but it won't read the battery percentage properly and it will most likely be showing you 0% so you're going to need a couple of tools to fix this problem I have linked the download links in the description for you to access now open the clover configurator app head over to the mount ear file tab and we're going to be mounting our ear file over at the ear file partition section identify the ear file that is installed on your mac os drive then click on mount partition put in your password now we are going to access our dsdt files that we extracted from our bootloader so open your efi open the efi folder open clover acpi and origin so you see a bunch of files here but the one we are after is this dsdt file.aml make sure you select that one and copy it what i want you to do is to create a folder on your desktop named origin all in small letters open the folder and paste the dsdt file there but first what we have to do is open the hacking tool app first here we're going to be disabling the gatekeeper block that won't allow us to access system files so head over to the tools tab and click the house icon button input your password and hit ok so it will run the code in the background and you can close out this tool then in your finder folder go over to your menu bar and click on go click computer Open the drive that you stored your Mac OS on. Mine is called test for youtube so I'm going to be opening that one. When you open it, we need to access some hidden files. And to allow us to see the hidden files, what you're going to do is to hold down control, shift, function, and period. Hold all this together and your hidden files will appear. Scroll down and look for the USR folder. Open it and open the bin folder there. Now double click this our zipped file to extract it. A folder named barhand should appear. Open it and copy this IASL file into the bin folder. If the file was already there, click on replace. To ask you to put in your password, put it in and press OK. So you can close off from these folders now. Now open the origin folder and move it over to the left side. And next open the terminal. So now you're going to copy and run the codes that are available in the Baham folder. This file and folder was included in the video I got my fix from. So the owner left some instructions in this text file. Copy the first code cd desktop slash origin, then paste it into the terminal and hit enter. Then copy the second line of code and paste it into the terminal. Hit enter. It will run the program and when it's done, close it. Over at our origin folder, you will notice that a new file has been created, dsdt.dsl. Drag the file onto your desktop and you can close this origin folder. Now open this tool that is called mac iasl. We are going to be using it to patch our dsdt file. In the application, click on Mac IASL in the menu bar above, then select Preferences. In this box, make sure you select the highest version that is there. Mine is ACPI 6.2A. The number might change depending on the version you have. So make sure it's selected and you can close it up. Next, click on File and click Open. 
we are going to open the dsdt.dsl file we just created through the line of code we ran so look for it in your desktop and click open this box will open and what we are going to do is to go into our browser and search dsdt laptop patch click on this link and scroll and look for battery click on it now here there are a list of laptop dst patches that you can select from look for the one that is closest to your laptop and the build of your laptop you might not see your exact laptop build here but look for the one that is closest to your laptop so i'm going to go with this hp mv17 which is closer to my laptop this page will open click on raw so that you can copy all the lines of code when it opens select all by holding command a on your keyboard and copy it now go back to that box we opened earlier on and click on patch paste in the code we just copied into the box allow it to load before you can press apply when it's done you will see the number of patches and changes that has occurred and the number of rejects should be zero for you then hit apply when it's done hit close so now click on compile and you notice you have zero errors this is what you should have so if you have zero errors you should know that you're on the right track close it up and next we are going to save the dsdt file so go back to file and click on save as under file format select acpi machine language binary then add .aml to the file name click on save then you can close out these two boxes so i saved mine to my desktop and it's called dsdt.aml what we're going to do is to copy this file into our efi so open your efi and click on clover acpi and open the patched folder then simply drag the file into the patched folder now open that by hand folder that we extracted earlier on there's an acpi battery manager text we are going to copy it and paste it in our efi so copy it and go back to our patch folder and go back back then click on text click on order and paste the file into here so that is it and what we have to do now is to restart our computer for some after restarting their battery should be up and running and working for them but for those who restart and their battery is not showing what you should do is to open this kext utility app it's a kext installer so we're going to be using it to install the kext for us automatically into the system but since we restarted our computer we have to open this hacking tool app and disable the gatekeeper again so do that and come back to the kext utility app allow the app to finish loading and getting ready for you don't worry it can take some time so just be patient with it so when it's done you get a message below saying that it's done what you should do now is to go back into that barham folder and drag that acpi battery manager kext into the kext utility app it asks us to put in our password so put it in and wait for it to finish its process again it can take some while to load so just be patient when it's done you should see the battery icon appear on the right side of your menu bar and if you click it you can choose to show or disable your battery percentage and that is it however if after kext utility installed it and you didn't see any change just restart your computer and i'm sure the icon will appear for you so that was it guys your battery issue should be solved after following this tutorial it actually took me a couple of tries to fix the battery issue but i ended up doing so and i hope that this will work for you guys if you follow this tutorial if you have any questions about this tutorial please leave them down below in the comments and i'll gladly respond to them also like this video if it was helpful for you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you guys next time bye